Welcome to Destination Jamaica. Hoping you're all having a hey. great <laughs> today. We yeah, have are. a multi-talented person, a Jamaican who has a herbal um business as well as is a sculptor and artist and so much more. Now, please tell us about yourself, starting with your name, of course. Yes. Okay, so I am Abayomi, but um on bird paper it's Kavim Deer. So it's Kavim Abayomi Deer. And I am from um St. Catherine, Northeast, St. Catherine, living in a small rural community called Omili. Yeah. Oh, awesome. And Omili right. is, is in um what part of St. Catherine is Omili? It's Northeast St. Bovrak side or St. Mary side. Yeah, you're hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you. I agree. Okay, nice. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Okay, so um, I am a artist, to be honest, and everything that I do fall underneath the category of art. Now, underneath that category, we have herbalism, or the practice of using herb, or the art of using herb to nourish and to maintain and to sustain life. Right, or to allow the body to operate, be in itself naturally. Um, separate from that, um, a singer bit, you know, that fall under a do a much carving, drawings, and sculpting and stuff like that. Okay, so you're very big on expression. Right. Yes. All right. Awesome. And so it's so you know self expression cure depression. So yeah. <laughs> okay, that's like that's a nice one. <laughs> self expression. Yeah. Pure depression. First time I'm hearing that. Most definitely. Good. <laughs> so Abayomi, tell us about your business, Wo Holistic Yard, right? Yes, Holistic Yard. So um, the word holistic me simple mean it can it it embodied everything. So everything we have to do with human being, your mind, your body, you know, and your spirit or your soul, right? One. Because not all sickness is physical. Most sickness is coming from a higher point, a spiritual, then a mental, then before it reaches physical. So holistic yard non take care of all aspects when it comes on to healing and repairing the body. Now, separate from that, no, um, it's like family base. So we don't see people's sickness as business. We see people's sickness as an opportunity to heal and make the world a better place. So holistic yard is my contribution to society and to the universe. I'm just playing my part to balance my skill. So that's basically, in a nutshell, holistic yard. Oh, that's pretty beautiful. Now, yeah. you said that you got into this via a dream when we spoke prior. Do you want to talk about mm -hmm. that a bit more? Okay, so... um. The dream is basically um coming from somebody that was alive, to be honest, right? This person was alive and this person inspired me. But I wasn't inspired until the person passed off, right? I, I always have the inclination and towards using herb to heal myself. I always have that inclination. So... The stuff that regards to like bitter stuff, I wasn't afraid of it. I was always boiling stuff like, and I would make it so strong that it worked in a zippy. But normally the typical person would be wondering if, if it is too, too strong. So, but I was always putting way more. When they put a strand, I put like a pound. And I realized that it, 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 it becomes so potent and much better. So I was inspired by that person if we continue doing what we do because the community was out of a herbalist or out of somebody that pra practice healing naturally and that is what sparked the inspiration but it is mostly genetic because when I check back my family background and all of that it, it shows how much people inside of it was doing stuff like this and doing it like self-taught so it's just easy for me to say it, it's embedded in a DNA Okay. And what's the name of this person mm -hmm. who inspired you via the dream? Okay, so this person, yes, um, Freddie Franz. He's, 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 he's Freddie Franz. I held off this community. Okay, so big up Freddie Franz. Every time. <laughs> 
So just to um, expand on that, I found it fascinating when um, Abayumi said that he was a security guard prior and then one day he had a dream about Mr. France who kept coming mm -hmm. to the dream and he knew that normally you said when you dream something, you know something is going to happen. Is that what you said? So he yes. knew something was Right. I am like, a, I am very visionary. Right. Something was, was always, is always going to happen. And these dreams happen consciously, meaning I could be awake and the vision just come right in my mind. And I remember But being at work and was doing security work, but like me not have no purpose. I mean, I know what I want to do with my life. And I was like, what is it? What is it? And then it's like Freddie French just pop up in my, in my mind's eye, you know, and he, he died probably like about eight months um, prior to this um, vision that I got. And he was saying that it's nutrition. It have to do something with nutrition. And I was there wondering what could be, what could I do? Or what could my um, gift um, I have to do with um, nutrition and I, I wanted that one single word so I go on a uh, research you know who, who, people who deal with um, nutrition where you call them and then me get the word nutritionist and then from there now um, I had like something to work towards so I was like but I have I am basically living this because I was preaching healthy food I became a vegan and all of that so I was preaching all of that I was already doing it and then when we look back on all of my life, I was doing it from, I, I can't even say, though me 30 years old, I have been doing it for almost all of my life when I can remember myself being conscious. So it's a part of me, right? The only thing is that because society tell us that we're supposed to be police or doctor or nurse, I got confused because I never know that this was a thing. And then I realized the essence and the more me continue and give these medicine to people it, it just inspire me more when we get back the review and see people being healed and people being happy and it just make the world happy so i am basically healing people for myself firstly because whenever time people heal and them happy is that in even because a lot of the stress where we have is lack of mineral stress. A lot of the stress where we have because stress burn the minerals from your body, you know? So, yeah. Okay. That's powerful. There are two things I want to just, you know, exaggerate what you said. First, mm -hmm. um, that stress burns a lot of the minerals from our bodies. We'll talk about that soon. And then the right. next thing you said, which is very important, a lot of us search and are searching for what's our true calling. And as you said, society states or dictates that we should be this and we should be that. Right. And we just feel empty in our jobs, our careers. And I'm so happy that you found your true calling because we only have mm -hmm. this one life as far as we know. And, and you humans should be fulfilled and they should exactly. be also contributing to society and so forth. Yes. So for someone out there searching, um, I hope this interview will um inspired you to do something that you absolutely feel like getting up every day to do and it's your purpose yeah that's your happy purpose. About it, don't you? yeah <laughs> and it's your calling mm -hmm. um guys Most one thing, definite. yes one thing to note is that society can be you know life can be hard and we feel that we we'll have to continuously survive but while you're out there surviving don't forget to listen to the true you right you know and you say survive but we want to get people to live you know because survive you always depend the edge of your seat no know where to do or which way to go so we want to get people to live and in order to get people to live them have to be healthy without health there is no living and everybody know we are dead that is the only thing that is sure but we don't have to die from pain and sickness Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to die from, from stress. We don't have to die from that. We can die happy, you know. Freddie France died happy. He got up, home his ear, sat down in his couch, and just passed off with a smile on his face. I never cry. Even though he meant a lot to me, I never cry because we talk, you know? So, yeah. Also, he was prepared. He was prepared for... All right, so I asked a question that he was prepared for passing on. 
yes, he was prepared for passing on, you know, and we spoke prior to, to him passing on because at that time, I was working at a restaurant, like I was cooking. And he came there, he heard that I was working there, he came there and him come look for me and him say, oh, yeah, him always at check out my health and him always looking to tell if you're healthy or if you're sick or if you're stressed. He, he could. And him looking at my face and he said, yes, you are on the right path, you know. And, you know, I, I remember one time he developed some um, prostate issue and me and him was walking throughout the community looking for this herb when boil for for prostate and he to, he didn't took the doctor's medication and I am not um encouraging anyone to to stop taking them doctor's medication but this man put that aside and he cured himself from himself with just food and I was inspired you know so yeah yeah so yeah, we should put a disclaimer here that you mentioned that this knowledge that he shared, that Abba Yomi sharing, is not to you know deter you from anything that your doctors say. It's not to clash or fight against right. um, modern medicine. We just believe in exactly. sharing what our, what has been passed on to us for from decade to decade yeah. from our African brothers and sisters. You know? I believe there's exactly. strength in what we do in the land, in the earth, and so forth. So we're imploring you to mm. open up your minds. And, you know, I believe that modern medicine and natural medicine can work hand in hand in making society the best, um, as healthy as possible. Most definitely. Yes. Now it's speaking, huh? go ahead. Mm -hmm. Now speaking mm -hmm. about stress, you said that. No, it's cool. I'm listening. <laughs> Okay, so speaking about stress, you said that the minerals are burnt from the body. Would you like to expand on that? Right. Most definitely. All right. So um, this is our stress work, right? Mental stress is is like it takes a lot of energy. Physical stress is not that and energy. A mineral, right? It it rubs your body as so much mineral. It's a lot of mucus. Stress as whenever time you're stressed, your body is trying to capture, right? So if you're constantly living a negative thought, then it's going to burn your mineral, right? Whenever time your mind stressed, then your body becomes stressed as a result by it losing minerals. And that is why we, we lose we hear. We lose we hear a lot. We get um a lot of um scalp and all of them things on your skin. It look dry out and your energy and our whole doesn't feel good because you lose energy, you lose mineral. And mineral causes us to be alive. So without mineral, there is no health, right? So it burns it out. It, it causes your high spin of function well. And then it causes your pressure to rise. Because the reason why your pressure rises is because your body is saying, where is the mineral? We need more mineral. So it rises the pressure either if it send more mineral or if it search it, right? And if that mineral is not in there, then we got a stroke. We get a stroke. Boom. Stroke right away because there's no mineral. So repairing now, you have to supply your body with continuous minerals every day. You have to take your mineral. It's not about eating some white rice where we where, 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 where gone. There's no mineral in there. Some white flour, no mineral in there. But when you eat dead food, then that food has to be become whole. If it digests, so where to go get the mineral? Every food have them own enzyme, and this food is stripped and rub of them own enzyme. So as a result, it has to rub we because the food is spiritual, and if I remove the spirit out of the food then you remove the life out of the food you remove oxygen out of the food and oxygen is what makes life happen so that is how it works in a nutshell <laughs> okay and what are some of the products hello that... are you hearing me hello so if you're watching where we apologize for the delays in responses or viewers um he's actually in a rural part of Jamaica uh, using data currently 
So we're trying our best to make this work. How about you and me? Hello, you there? Yes, I'm hearing you. Yes, I am here, but you're going... Okay, nice. All right, great. So, so you were saying um, what are some of the products? Yeah, tell us about some of your products. Okay, so... um. All right, so products I may have, the first product I may have is a big, broad smile when you see me. Good, positive energy when you see me. Like somebody who look healthy, feel healthy, smell healthy, right? That is the first product when I have to offer anybody. It's a part of me. Now, the second product I have, um, the nine-day detox or the seven-day detox, rather. And this detox, um, take care of your liver, your gallbladder, your colon, right? And this detox involves you, know, you Becoming a vegan, and who is a vegan? Somebody where he eat nothing from animals, right? No animal product, and you need to eat it via your skin or the food. So, and that, those seven days, you separate yourself from those kind of food. You eat food, whole food, and not foodless food, right? Our junk food, our junk, our food, we eat food. Cool, so with that product, you know, taking out all of that madness from out your diet is a it give you about the time for repair and for cleanse. So the 90 day detox work like that. What you can expect? Um, you can expect this product um, removing um, gallstones. And a lot of us don't know that we have gallstones, but trust me, eating a lot of grease and meat and all of the junks and all of that, yeah. of salt, then you have gallstones, seriously. So um, this product help release those, help cleanse that, right? It clean your colon and it also help to eliminate worms. Right, and we have reviews with people showing them where and stuff, you know, kind of, yeah, but yeah, people show that, right? And the iron blood cleanser, where do feel it, it, it supply your body and enrich your body with iron, it is packed with iron, and all of these things that is used to make it is, is natural. We dig them from the soil if it's a soil, or we pull them from the earth, right? All of them come from the earth, and these things now. It's, it don't have any preservative inside of it. It is preserved by nature, and that is how you take it inside of your system. So the iron tonic, nung, it nourish your blood by cleaning your blood. It oxygenates your blood. And with your blood being packed with iron, iron is very, very important. Check Dr. Sevian. You will hear him say a lot about iron. But from personal experience, iron, without iron, no, nothing works. Without iron, your mind no work. You feel lazy and grumpy and tired all the time. You don't have the energy to deal with certain things. And as a result, you become more irritable. And because you lack iron, you lack the mineral again. So that is how stress works. If your body healthy, it's almost impossible for your stress. You have to think about things in a calm way. So the iron sustain with, 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 with oxygen. Cool. Iron and oxygen is two good friends. They work together. So where there is iron, there is oxygen. Where there is oxygen, there must be iron. So no matter if you live in an environment that is clean and the air fresh, without iron, iron you won't be utilizing that. So the next one now is the blood cleanser. And I'm relieving your, your body from kind of stuff that is not supposed to be there. You can't expect it if you just purify and cleanse your blood. And it also supplies your body with iron, just the same. Because iron brings oxygen. Oxygen cleans the blood continually, everlastingly, it does. And then the other product we have now is the meal. The meal nourishment or the meal overall. And where the meal, meal, meal nourishment do feel, it it clean and, and maintain the, the prostate and it boots your reproductive drive, not sex drive, reproductive drive, right? That is where it boots it and make you feel more active and alive down there, make you feel more best, you know, make you feel the best, right? So, so there is no no happy man without um, the uterus nourishment and it basically do the same it clean the womb right it clean the womb. We have the good old irish mass and the irish mass are the sea mass you know we we we, we just blend that in with your products so you buy a male nourishment then you, you also get um, uh, your irish mass with that and all of that because the irish mass is where 
it's very potent and it's very good for both male and female. Why well, again we have a with the custom made, you know. So if you have um, a, a certain illness, we can basically whip something up and then we involve spirit and and we involve the clean mental vibes into the medicine and just know it's the good quality. You know, so I am my ingredient. I could give you the ingredient, but you can't make it like me because I am not present in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a great sales yeah. speech. <laughs> um, so <Nice>. you're saying <laughs> that we would be happier if our diets were different, if we eat. Most definitely. And yes, we wouldn't be as yeah, we could, that yeah. irritated. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -mm, we wouldn't be that irritable. Seriously, if we body have mineral, trust me, you can laugh about certain things, like certain serious things. You wouldn't take it so serious if your body have minerals. You know, if you have stress, take your mineral. You know, and our stress kill people, a lack of mineral. <laughs> mm hmm there's actually some science, it, I, I think I saw an article that says that science supports food, like melanin support, actually helping us with depression. And people uh, can exactly. <laughs> I test to exactly. eat. Exactly. <laughs> or they can, you know, or yeah. they can give their product for stress. Or can, you know, it has to be mineral. If you can go out the doctor and get something with depression then it must be mineral. Your body lacks up, man, then no. You yeah. know? You mentioned Dr. Yeah. Seve. You've studied his work? Yes, I studied Dr. Seve's work. I listened to a lot of his interview and I take his um, advice and put it with mine. And, and you know, it worked for me. You know, it worked very well. And study him too and think you know i'm just happy to deal with herbs i need it <laughs> where can people find you well i am in northeast saint catherine i am on facebook and yeah. uh, that is um abayomi cavin beer on facebook you can find me at um instagram um Solart underscore by underscore Abayomi or Solart by Abayomi will find me there. And you can find me uh, on TikTok as in um, Jai and Abba on TikTok. And we deliver. So if person need anything, we use um, um, a courier service here to send products anywhere in Jamaica. And if you need like an online consultation, then you can reach me via my number 462 1-876-462-7978. That's the easiest way, really. <laughs> Where do you get your pro products from? Do you grow them or do you source them? How do you source them? Okay, so Nighty Scent Catching, we live in the jungle, in the bush, right? And so um, most of my herbs, me gather it from the bush. If I can't get a, a particular herb because of drought or because it's not in the right location where where it look healthy, then we might have to um, source it from somebody who, who, who gather herbs just the same. Or sometimes we use like the herbal shop to get some stuff when we know say really, really good, but we not, we not find it local substitute. So I am about trying to find a local substitute. I don't make medicine unless it work. It have to work. Because if it no work, when, when me I get pay for, nobody not got happy if me not get it. And then if me sad, then it I got teeth me mineral and me not have no mineral to give to sadness. So yeah, that's where we get it, this environment. Okay, awesome. And you, can you mention some of the herbs you use? You're not particularly mentioning the recipes, but what are some of the herbs that you use? Okay, so we use cherry root, sarsaparilla, yellow dock, burdock, wormwood, um, senna pod, yohimbi, sa palmetto, chase tree berry, um, like, like John Charles, Jack in the Bush, um, Kalawa, um, Red Water Grass, Shea Mamaka, and uh, Wagon we use. Why? There's so much herbs. Um, sometimes we use coconut root, you know, Guinean weed, the good old Guinean weed. Trust me, we use a lot of that. Um, pepper Helda, Wild Basil, you know, peppermint, stuff like that, you know, and even fruits too. Sometimes we boil the coconut shell. You know, if you have your diabetes, pomegranate, leaves, 
trust me, you name it. Once me discover it and test it for myself, I, you know, we're good. So when it, you just mentioned a lot of herbs, I mean, I know three quarters. <laughs> ah, that's yeah. <laughs> so some of those are Jamaican or Caribbean herbs. Yeah. Oh, guinea head weed, of course. So I don't know if you wanted to speak about the spiritual side of illness. You mentioned that it starts spiritually. Yeah, I can, I can, I can do a little. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, nice. So, in regards to um the spiritual aspect of, yes. So, in regards to the spiritual aspect of of L, we become sick. Right. The first thing is not loving self. Eat me, eat me nose. Me eat me color. Me eat me leg. You know. First thing is eating your environment we live in. That alone create distortion and distraction from from spirit. Right. Um, participating in in activities like over drinking alcohol, taking drugs, and all of them things that it pull you out of being spiritual and as a result it creates mental stress and then it hand that down to the physical body so whenever time you feel the sickness physically it already happened spiritually already you already happened mentally already and it all and it is now happening physically which is the last level right that is how sickness happen so spiritually we are supposed to to practice being grateful just be grateful give thanks for ups and down good and bad give thanks for people who do your bad you know don't be resentful if you're stuck in the past or you're too much in your imagination in the future then it's create a spiritual back black because spiritually you're supposed to live moment by moment you know take care of things momentarily you know smell the fresh air be present if you're not present within your with, within your body and your mind you know your spirit I got just no function at its best. So that is how we get um affected um spiritually before we get sick. You know, it's just simple resentment and all of them stuff there cause them stuff fit to happen to us. Yeah. Okay. That's really intriguing. Mm -hmm. Something to reflect on. Yeah, and it got deeper, you know. Mm -hmm. So being grateful every day yeah. and moment by moment, taking things. One at a time. But you know what, um, Abba, you right. it can be so difficult because a lot of us are dealing with trauma and, you know, development occurs in childhood, teenage years and so forth. It's so easy to say, to take life moment by moment mm -hmm. and so forth. But how can you tell someone who has lived in chaos all their childhood, all their teenage years, always felt mm -hmm isolated or or, or mm -hmm. someone you know some they go through such a rough life abuse and so forth it's hard for them mm -hmm. to come out of that mentality i do appreciate what you're saying of mm -hmm. course and i think mm -hmm. multiple medical disciplines working in um partnership will help jamaicans and people at large become them be best selves i'm talking about therapists and nutritionists and herbalists right. and doctors and so forth it really is a, a a universal or full circle of us getting into our best selves and we don't have all the time to talk about this but we're not just right um mm -hmm. we don't like some people don't like to talk about slavery but um what mm -hmm. happened to our parents and our great grandparents and so forth of course we can't keep blaming the past but the past has a lot to teach us and mm -hmm. the past has a lot to do with right. our currently I've seen damages coming from mm -hmm. generations to generations just because grandmother have to start all over again and not have nothing to give our kids but our love and our care. I have seen it. <laughs> right? And then your mom right. might go mm -hmm. and then your mom say, all right, education is the key. And then we have mm -hmm. education and we struggle to get the assets. So the generation right. us will be okay. So to me, mm -hmm. it's a chain. Um, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. It's just some thoughts mm -hmm. that I have. Right. Well, um, there is no right or wrong to this, to be honest. Everyone um came here on a mission and we have to just find the mission. And you could be living the mission, but unless you become conscious of this mission, then you don't find it. Right. So the, the thing is we have to just learn to express yourself. Express yourself 
and just find somebody where we can talk to. Why should it be easy? You know, if it is something that are going to make you extremely powerful, why should it be easy? It shouldn't be easy, you know, because if it's easy, then it not work nothing, you know, but things where you work really hard for, so it should be challenging, you know, because every time we push beyond we limit, trust me, is a major, major, major positive growth. So it shouldn't be easy. Just know that every seed where you plant eventually grows, no matter how simple it is. Everything that I have thought of from, from whenever I have seen it happen in my life, I have seen it happen over and over it happen. So it's the way all you think, right? And the past is necessary to look back to go forward. But then the past is something you accept, not something you fight and battle with. You know, okay. and I know it is easy, but me have to say what me have to say based on my understanding. It shouldn't be easy. It will be hard because it will be strong mentally, spiritually, and physically. So it will be hard. So the only reason why we have problem is because we, we want it to be easy. We want to just snap a finger and it just happen. But no, life tech work. Okay. Yeah. That's, we could have a whole conversation. Come <laughs> like, we'll start our own podcast and, yeah. and dive into these things. But yeah, I really appreciate what we're doing and sharing right now. But we want Jamaicans to be healthy. We want them to be happy want them to be successful in however they yeah. get success and yeah. and healed right but you do have a point where mm -hmm. you say that mm -hmm. life is life is reality realistically it's not easy and accepting life and its challenges is what will mm -hmm. allow us to level mm -hmm. up as you stated all right that's right. pretty you so, know and what is easy what is what is easy for you might be hard for me so we have to learn to meet people where they are at, at their levels, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all great stuff. So if you're watching, you're viewing, let us know in the comments what you're what you think about what we're seeing. And we would love to read your thoughts as Abayomi say, express mm -hmm. whatever it is. There's no right or wrong in this. Yes, self-expression. Yeah. Yeah. There's no right or wrong. Mm -hmm. That is the problem. When we say we're right and say we're wrong, it develop a problem. You know, because right and wrong is by the moment. It, it not go beyond the moment. It can change. But people think they feel hold on to this because it's right for 50 years and it gets outdated. And that is the problem. We don't grow. We don't flow. Rigid. So we break. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're very, you sound very smart for your age, though. Young one. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's dive into the art and so of what you do. Tell us a little bit about the mm -hmm. art part of you said everything is art, but tell us about the drawings and the sculptures and so forth. All right. So that part of my life is the is my favorite. The artistic part of my life is the and by the way, Kavim actually means the of that name and I am living that. I am a living artist. Everything we do is art, right? So now in terms of drawing, drawing is the first thing I found myself consciously doing. That is the first thing we can say start out with doing. But society taught us that artists now go make no money, you know? But later down the line, I realized that if me do this thing out of love, then money come after. I shouldn't be doing it for money. I should be doing it because me love it. You don't have to pay me if you do my artwork. I love it already. You don't have to pay me if you make my herbal medicine. I love it already. So I'm not stressed. The only time stress comes is when I start work for people and want to run away from Jamaica go somewhere else. But I live in this environment. I need to live. I need people to add my me. What you gonna do for me? I'm gonna get that piece of stick, I'm gonna make turn it into something or pick something out of that same piece of wood. I know people I admire it and I say, Oh, it look lovely. So art, I am completely passionate about art. I'm a mix art in every single thing when we do. Simple and straight. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> awesome. And you tell us about your you change your yeah. name, Abba Do you. you want to tell our viewers what that means? Okay, so I didn't change it, I had a name to me. Because if everybody can label me, why me can't label myself based on my knowledge and my understanding? You know, this signifies something powerful. It means to bring joy. So that is why me I laugh and me happy. And my wife, 
she named Jai. You know, so the name even attracts she. So um the, the name is just something when me select. That name feel like me and it sound like me and it smell like me. You know, and me just love the name Abba Yomi. If, especially when they say Abba. Abba by itself means father. I am a I am a male and me like to feel like me as a father to a lot of people. So me treat people like that. So me very old mentally, me very old at, at least me think me very old mentally. And that is where, yeah, that is where make everything like that for me. So it's more African. Look at my nose, big and broad. You know, look at my complexion. So me need a name where to represent that. So Abayomi. Yeah, man. Yeah, big and broad said very proudly. Love that. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, um, Abayomi. Yeah. We're at the we're wrapping up now. Um, we have a few more questions to go, but before we continue, yes. is there anything, any message that you want to say to our viewers or any advice you want to give to them? I want to say to people that um we are not here to prevent death. We are here to enhance the quality of our life. And we can do that through expressing self. Self-expression cures depression. But it has consequences, you know. When you express yourself, it has consequences. Somebody might tell you say you're mad. But guess what? Me no business on me, son. Me no business on me. Look, as long as I feel all right. As long as I'm feeling fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-expression. Cure depression. Ever me. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so that's pretty good um i asked yeah. you to sing in there the thing is you keep freezing up so we'll do a part two to the interview where we can get to see you in all your self-glory um you know okay. God giving, God giving <laughs> glory um and have a high quality video all right no yes yes mm -hmm. all right so let's wrap up tell us what do you love about being jamaican Ah, what I love about being Jamaican. Ah, me just feel free. Me love that little freedom there, you know, where you can't go anywhere, you don't have to work for nobody. And, you know, you can start up your thing and then when you reach another limelight, then you can make it official or make it more, you know. Me just like that freedom there. You know, Jamaica just, me just feel free. I me like the way how me talk. Me love that talk there. And there's this magnetic thing about Jamaicans, like, oh, it, it we kind of untampered with, you know, like, we know so... You know, the mix up with just vintage. I mean, just love that vintage something there where you can just be yourself and just be vintage. Like, you can just go a spring and carry some water upon your head and your strong and your robust and your fit. I love being that in Jamaica. It just feel like Africa. Yeah, man. Okay. And um, what's your favorite Jamaican meal, if any? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, why? You know, you can't I mean, I have no favorite because I'm me cook them and, and me and my favorite. So it's like once me cook it, then it's just nice, you know. Like, we don't have no favorite. Like, maybe yeah. I can't selfish, me not sure, but yeah. <laughs> what, about, what about fruits? Any favorite Jamaican? Well, all right, my favorite Jamaican fruit is basically banana. And the reason why a banana is because we can't get it all year round. But if it could be like mango then yeah but banana me take it as my favorite because me can always get it but separate from that it is mango mango i agree and is there anything from your childhood that you want to share with our viewers mm -hmm. in memory from the childhood well from my childhood i grew up with just my mother alone and my two siblings and i basically had to become a man very young so I started cooking very, very early, very early. Before me have sense, me I cook and I prepare stuff for my bigger uncles them, you know. So I want to share that. So it's not about age. It's about wanting to do the thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. That's why you're so passionate about cooking. I, I say, according to you, it tastes really good. So we'll see. Yeah, man, it tastes good. But I mean, I wait for nobody if you tell me. What do you for ask wifey? Wifey, they both, <laughs> wifey food tastes good. <laughs> no, but wifey and Gia, wifey and Gia still a review because she a wifey. Come here, right? come here. Come here. 
No, no, no. She she can't pick up for me because my food speak for itself. It's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wifey, thanks. <laughs> All right. And the two more questions to go. Is there any question that you wish mm -hmm. I would have asked you that I didn't ask in this interview? Hmm. Well, you basically cover it all, you know. I'm um, trying to get in a in a imagination too much. Me just accept where come because that is where supposed to come. And thank you very much for all the questions you come. I won't look forward nor backward. I'm looking at it as it is. So blessings for all the questions. There's right. no and and questions that you didn't ask. All right, great. And the the final question for Jamaican children. Yeah. Is there any message that you want to leave for the children of Jamaica? Mm -hmm. All right, children only hear this all the time about yourself. Express to yourself, be free. You know, be free and express yourself. If you love playing at the dirt, playing at the dirt. It will bring you a lot. If you love create, create. If you love beat, jump, pine one, pan and knock it. You know, if, if you love climb tree, then climb tree. Whatever you love, you do, do it. And make, make nobody stop you know. Yeah. You know, yeah. because that is what makes me create things. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Abayomi. We're yeah, man. to a happier, healthier Jamaica. Hopefully, Most definitely. we can all play our part in making this happen because we plan to do more at Destination Jamaica, not just with sure. internet, but much, much more, God's willing. And yeah, man. Blessings. Yes. So we're looking yeah. forward to our part two. And do have a wonderful day. I will. And thank you very much from the Holistic Yard with Jai and Abayomi. Blessings every time. Thank you deeply. You're most welcome. And thank yeah, you man. viewers for watching, sharing, subscribing, commenting, reaching out to Abayomi and Joy. Um, we're looking forward to part two with them. So ensure that you subscribe, comment, share, and so forth. We'll chat pretty soon. Take care of yourself and each other. Stay as hopeful as, as I can. And blessings always. Yeah, man. Every time. Blessings. <laughs>